Have you all seen that effect they use in films where they make it look like the camera zooming in but also zooming out at the same time? That is called the vertigo effect and it is really simple and easy to do. They use it a lot to over exaggerate or make things look a lot more dramatic. For example, when the character realizes something or if they want to make a corridor or a hallway look a lot further away. What you need to do first of all is you need to get your camera and then slowly zoom into the object and make sure it is directly in the center or try to keep it as steady as possible so there's no shakiness. We're going to import this into Sony Vegas and because I don't really need the audio since it's just wind I'm going to press U on my keyboard and then press delete to get rid of the audio layer. Once you've found the part where it starts you want to press S on your keyboard and then this will split up your video then press delete and then move this back to the beginning. We're also going to cut the end bit. We're going to double left click in the empty area to create a loop region and then you pretty much want to get yourself the loop playback. If you don't have this open you can go to these arrows right here and then edit visible buttons and then loop playback right there. To create this effect all you got to do is go to the event slash crop and then once you're in here you want to get yourself the first keyframe Move this all the way to the end. Next up you want to go all the way to the start of the video and then left click once on your panel. Use the scroll wheel to zoom out. Now that you've zoomed out all you got to do is hold shift and then drag this inwards so you zoom in to your video. It slowly zooms out. Now if you want it to be a lot more quicker all you got to do is drag this keyframe right here much closer to the start and that will speed it up. So as you can see that's made it a lot quicker. Now, if you wanted to, you can also go back to the event slash crop and you can go back to the first keyframe. And then if you go on the outside of the circle, you'll get the rotation. And if you hold shift, you can tilt it slightly and this will make it look like this, where it slowly zooms out, but also goes back to the center. Now, if you wanted to, you can do the opposite. So instead of zooming in, you could zoom out and it all depends on your video. So for example, if the camera's zooming in, you can zoom out and if the camera's zooming out, you want to zoom in. But anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.